Welcome to E.5.4. Today we're going to describe the source and effects of thermal pollution in water. Now thermal pollution looks like this with an infrared camera. Basically here you have some sort of power uh, station or a factory of some kind and the effluent or the results of whatever they're doing um, is being released out into the water. And so you can see here that the temperature um, can be upwards you know, of several degrees warmer than the surroundings. And that can definitely cause some problems because oxygen will decrease in, or oxygen concentration decreases in higher temperatures. So that comes from, like I said, power stations and factories. The effect is it lowers the concentration in the water. Now there's a solubility curve that you can kind of see here. At zero degrees, you have almost 15 milligrams per liter of oxygen. Just increasing your temperature uh, 30 degrees um, about halves that. So you can see that that might be a problem for any of the larger organisms that need a l higher level of oxygen in order to survive. So the result could be that fish could die due to a lack of oxygen or what we would call asphyxiation.